The following is a clip from my popular YouTube live streams answering your questions. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if any time this video resonates with you, please hit that like button so I can be seen in the YouTube algorithms. Really quickly, my coaching is what I call heart-centered radical honesty. It's direct, a little tough love, and a lot of heart. And occasionally I use expletives to enhance the sentence. So if an F-bomb or two isn't your cup of tea, I suggest logging off right now. Lastly, these are my thoughts, my perceptions, my opinions. By no means do I suggest this is the truth. You have to decide the truth for yourself. I'm a bit of a contrarian, so my advice goes contrary to public opinion and traditional uh, expectations. All right, take it away, Jonathan. Hey, Heather, question. Do you think people are too strict dating nowadays? Long checklists and standards too high? You know, it's tough on this one, Heather, because I'm a believer. Oh, by the way, if you haven't read the book, Two Dates by Neil Clark Warren. Now, he started eHarmony. I'm not recommending eHarmony, okay? Whether you like him or not, I'm not here to endorse it. But he had this idea that if you took compatibility with chemistry, you're going to have greater chance for success. And there's 25, where's the chapter? Um, bear with me. 25 most important must-haves in a relationship for relationship success, okay? 25 most popular must-haves. The more you're aligned with a person, the more aligned, Heather, you are with a person, the greater chance you have for relationship success. So, I'm not so certain that it doesn't. So in my coaching program, we, we come up with a questionnaire for you to ask men based on your personality. And now here's the thing. It's done very conversationally. But let me give an example of this. Now, I'm going to catch some flack for saying this. But let's say you love Bernie Sanders and AOC and you would die on the sword for that part of the Democratic Party. Okay. And you meet a guy online, he's got a cute picture. You saw his picture, he's really cute. And he loves Donald Trump and would die on the sword for Donald Trump and all of the way he thinks and you like the way. Do you think these two people share the same values? Probably not. So wouldn't you want that question asked? What about the person that totally believes in vaccines and wants to be quadruple, triple vaccine and they want to wear their mask in bed while they're making love to you? And the other person is will never get masked or get vaccine in their life. Do you think they're going to get along with each other? Probably not. So yeah, you might want to ask a few questions to see if you line up together. Now, at least Neil Warren says it takes 20, you have to know the 25, the, the more you're aligned in these 25 areas, the, the less likely you're to get divorced. So I leave it up to you. You've got to decide. How many questions are important for you? Um, because here's the bottom line. Love doesn't make a relationship work. Compat let's put you this way. Chemistry. Oh, well, let's go to the chemistry thing. Most everybody operates this way. My, my relationship iceberg. Chemistry. Uh, the, this is an iceberg. The chemistry is above the waterline. That's where we feel attraction. But compatibility is shared values, blendable lifestyles, and emotional maturity. You could share the same lifestyles, share the same values, but if the person is emotionally immature, it ain't going to work out. Or if you have terrible relationship skills, it ain't going to work out. So I'm a big proponent of finding this stuff out, and that's what I teach in my coaching. So Heather, I think you know how I stand with that. I love your question. I really appreciated it. Um, I know you followed up by saying Seinfeld ruined it for me. She eats her peas one at a time. I get it. Those are being picky. Do you share the same values? Are your lifestyles blendable? And most importantly, are they emotionally mature? Great question, Heather. Thank you so much. All right, let's go swimming.